which is um, you can either get red or green but the lady was nice the lady was nice she made us a really pretty like red white and green one she it was, was a special Italian, true. Yeah. she it was, was a... Italian but I, I want to say it was nice and if you enjoyed the video subscribe like and comment below which one you think your favorite churro will be or if you like anything else you want me to uh, to try or anything like that thank you I mean, there's a lot of things out here that you can try. We just tried the churros, but, you know, there's a lot more. Well, me and Lily, we like churros. So I thought that would be, like, the only option we had because anything else would be, like, eh. You know, I mean, my favorite had... Actually, I don't know what's wrong with it. I think the sour one was my favorite only because it was sour. I didn't like the sour one. No, you like the, the other weird one. The weird one. Which one did you like? I have a really bad memory, so I don't All right, remember. Well, if you look back in the video, you can tell us which one she liked because she can't remember. Comment below if you think you know which one I like the most. And if you guessed it, I'll give you a thumbs up. Two thumbs I'll up. give you one. Three thumbs up. Peace. So we're right by the Sleeping Castle Beauty. What is it called again? Sleeping, sleeping beauty castle. We're right next to the castle with a whole bunch of lights. Right on the left is a churro stand, and we got the gingerbread churro with marshmallow. My sister says it smells like Old Spice. It kind of does. Okay, let's do the taste the taste test. I mean, it kind of tastes like gingerbread. I mean, it's still good. Doesn't really taste gingerbread y. What do you think? I don't like it. She doesn't like it, but I also eat it. It's yeah. still good. The marshmallow actually makes it taste better, but it's not worth 25. So, right next to the castle, on the left, right there, you'll get the gingerbread churro. Okay, so we just got uh, an alien churro. Just kidding. <laughs> it is um, a green churro, which I thought was really cool because it looks really nice. And we got the caramel sauce, and this is actually a sour apple churro, which I'm really interested in trying. If you want to find this, it's going to be right over where the store center and shopping center is, right next to um, Buzz Lightyear. The, the ride where you go in there and you shoot things. Alright, and so right across is gonna be Star Wars. Star Wars? No, the Star Wars. The ride? Well, the Star Wars. The Star Wars ride. The, you know, the, the one where you get in there and you're in the spaceship and you go like zooming around and it's really fun. Okay, so I'm about to bite this, and if you want one, they are $6.25, and this right here is a dollar, so it may or may not be worth it depending on how good this tastes. And if you turn around, they're right behind us. Okay. How does this smell? It smells... It smells sweet, and it smells like sour apple. Like, if you've ever had the candy sour apple, this is how it smells. It's not very strong, it's, there's a hint of it, so uh, hopefully that's good. It's 
different. It's not bad, but it's different. Like, it's sour, it's sweet, and it's crunchy. So, those three combinations are good for me. She's gonna feed it to me. Oh, you know what? That um, if you guys have ever had that lollipop, the sour candy lollipop with the caramel inside, this is pretty much what they're trying to go with. Yep. I think that's what they are. Yep. Yeah. She said they're all right there. I don't really care for the caramel though, so if you want, I would recommend just getting this because it's not worth it for a dollar. I agree on her. That's. I was trying to pinpoint what it was. That's exactly what it is. I finished the bread, um, the bread cookie. What was it called? The first one I got. The Ginger breaded bread. gingerbread one. I ended up finishing the whole thing. It gives you an aftertaste. So, a weird aftertaste. So, it's whatever you want to do with that information. Up to the next one. So we just got to the Alien Pizza Planet right next to the Star Wars ride. Space it's right Mountain. next to where the Star Wars ride is and the um, Star Wars Museum right where it costs from it. So we're not, you're not very far. And then, you want to show them? And then we got a macaroon. There's a macaroon. Um, a cute little alien from uh, Toy Story. It has a little hat. A little hat and a little like kind can't they're toys. This part wait is it toys? That's chocolate. This is chocolate too. I don't know what flavor it is, we just got it. It's yummy flavor, that's all you need to know. Okay. No, I'm just kidding, we're gonna try it right now. Go ahead and try it. Okay. So I'm gonna take off the ear because I'm evil and I don't want to catch it here. Yeah. And there's no cream. Okay, never mind. <laughs> never mind. Okay. I'm mean, gonna take off one of the eyes. I feel horrible. I'm disfiguring this poor little guy. Okay. So, I, I'm not doing very well. Okay. It smells blueberry. It's very sweet. I don't know if I really care for it. It's not bad. It really isn't. So, you see the inside. There's like some kind of layer of blue in there, which is really cool because it makes the alien look really cute. I like it. It's really good. I like macaroons. So, I like it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you when I come to the, to the park to And I'm not really about the design of things. And this is one of the things you should try. This, you know, the macaroon, especially if it has like the alien base, you know, you can go back and play your friends, hey, you know, that really macaroon, that really alien base. And then like, it's a toy story, so it makes it even better. No, I'm keeping talking so I can eat the whole thing. No. Oh, wait, there's, there's something else in there. There's another filling. Oh. There's another filling in there. You see the blue, and then there's like, look, look, look. yellow, I think that's, look. So there's Lemon. purple. Right here, and then there's yellow right here. Mm. Mm. What is it? That is heart. It's lemon. It's lemon. lemon. Right heart. I'm gonna try it. I don't really care for lemon. Yeah, I don't really care for lemon, but everything else in here is good. It's not bad. But for me, I don't, I don't care for anything lemon. So it's very tart. I don't like that. It tastes like lemon. The lemon water. You know, you make, make you make lemonade. Lemonade. You make lemonade. That's what it tastes like. But I don't like this. Sure? No. It's more like a lemon pie. The cream, the cream filling in the lemon pie, or lemon tart. Anyway, I'm still eating it. It's still good. So, well, on to the next one. So we're right next to the um, haunted house. The haunted house is like right there, and the churro 
is right there. So right next to the haunted house, you'll find the, um, it's a true mic. It's a true mic. So today at Disneyland, we're hunting for churros. What's it called? <laughs> uh, the sugar plum churro. This is called the sugar plum sugar. So I'm gonna about to taste this one right now. Doesn't doesn't smell like anything. No, is it? I'm scared. Why? Why? She made a face. I don't know why. Yourself it has, Thank you, folks. We're going to get back to some New Orleans music right now. This is There'll Be Some Changes Made Today. Well, it has a unique taste. It has a unique taste. I mean, is it true? I'll still eat it. No, we're still going to hear it. It's kind of... Not my no. <laughs> no. I'm sorry, but no. Um, I mean, <coughs> I don't. Have you ever had a sugar pump? No. I'll be honest. I've never had a sugar pump, so I don't know if a sugar pump tastes like this. But um, yeah, not my favorite. It has quite a unique taste to it. So if you're gonna buy this one, just keep in mind that it's it's. I can't, I can't really describe how it tastes. This is a very um, unique churro. Pump tastes like? I mean, what's your pump tastes like? I really don't. Then you can use it with that. Apparently, I'm eating it, so. I did my job. I have. So, we're at Hungry Bear. It's going straight, um, passing the haunted house. If you keep going straight, You'll see the first restaurant when you turn right will be the first restaurant on the corner called Hungry Bear. And they're serving a eggnog churro, churro sundae, I guess. And that's what it is right here. So when we look at them on the, the food guide, they look really pretty. Like really pretty, really well done. And then you get them in these little trays. I'm going to show you what they look like. This is what it looks like. And then show them what you have. Well, I mean, it's Disneyland, so. So just FYI, I mean, it's not going to look the same thing as the picture, but you still want to try it. So I'm going to try the ice cream first. The ice cream is eggnog on top of caramel. Price 10, 10 out of 10. Because I like spice. I never tried eggnog, so I haven't really tried a lot of things. <laughs> Is this eggnog? Yeah, it's eggnog. Okay. Okay. If you like eggnog, it's good. It's, it tastes really eggnog nickly. Is that a new word? Egg yes, that's right. a new word so I created egg, in my language. Egg, 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 I like it. And now the, I think it's just a churro covered in caramel. Yeah, a churro covered in caramel. It looks refreshing after eating all the other churros. Yeah. I did eat like Almost all of the sugar plum, um, you need, you have to like sugar plum to eat this because it's, it's really strong and it has, doesn't have an after aftertaste at all, but it's a pretty strong flavor and this, the, the, the sundae is a strong flavor too, so just 
keep in mind, it, it, they're all going to be very strong when you first start like eating them. And we also have, we have two Cheerios left. We have the one next to the horse. What's that called? Golden Horseshoe? Golden Horseshoe is the, uh, the mint caramel um, churro sundae. Um, me and my sister, we don't like the mint, so we're gonna skip that one. But my friend, last time we came here, my friend tried it, and I actually took a video of it. So, flashback. So we're at the uh, Golden Horseshoe, I think that's what it's called. And we just got the peppermint churro for the, hol the this, um, Christmas holiday. We already started eating it. How do you like it, Gabe? It's really good. What's inside the, the churro? I don't know. It's that something that's bad. Caramel? Or cajeta? Yeah. So inside the churro, there's a... Um, um, I think it's either cajeta or caramel. I'm not sure. You want to split Lily, one up? Lily's Lily said it was cajeta. Oh. Oh, it just came out like that. <laughs> I don't like peppermint, so my friend's trying it. But I like the churro. I like the cajeta in it. And my friend's enjoying it. <laughs> and then we also have the second one that is a uh, peppermint. It's a uh, pretzel peppermint. Again, me and my sister don't like peppermint or um, mint. So we're going to skip those two. Well, we're here at Disneyland. And we're going to go ahead over to the California Adventures. California Adventures has three churros that we're going to try. So I'll see you then. So we're at the Cozy Cone Motel. <laughs> so we're at the Cozy Cone Motel by Carsland. So there are two churros. One is the uh, spicy pumpkin, pumpkin spice churro. Is it pumpkin spice churro? Pumpkin spice, yeah. And then the other one is the ginger snap. Ginger, ginger snap. snap. They told me the ginger snap at California Adventures that we're at right now and the gingerbread at Disneyland is basically the same thing so I just skipped it because I'm not paying twice for the same product so this is the uh, pumpkin spice churro and they gave us this cream right here I don't know what this is they just I think it's just cream I think it's just butter cream yeah so, here, okay. so. Yeah, it, sounds, it smells very pumpkin spicy. It's like pumpkin spice with churro. Yeah. All the other YouTubers posting about the, the food in Disneyland, the trills and everything. 
each one they, they're like oh it's so good it's all this and that typing it up and i'm just like either you have no taste buds well technically i don't have any taste buds but that's besides the point but they're lying so i mean this is the best one i've had from all the other ones i've tried honestly and oh so, my god there's a little ghosties in here there's ghosties no the little i think they're ghosties you're holding So there are little ghosties on these churros. Not exactly sure why, but there's little ghosties on the churros. There's one right there. There's another one right there. Another one right there. Anyways, we're off to the last one. Well, technically there's two more. But again, peppermint. No, no peppermint. So we're right next to Grizzly River Run, the ride where you get on a wheel and you like, it's too dark to see, but oh look, there's one right there. Right next to it is the churro stand right here. It's the peppermint um, churro. Me and my sister are not going to try that one because we do not like it or we don't like peppermint. But just so you guys to let you know, it's right here right next to the um, Grizzly River Run and the Bear Road Freak. There was lots of dancing! Also Italian, and it's also a churro. It's also a churro. It's a surprise. <laughs> I love the surprise. So we're in, we're, so we're, 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 Right here, there's a churro stand that has the red and green uh, churro. It is a normal churro with coloring on it. And we'll see how it tastes. It tastes like a normal churro. Let me, let me be the judge of that. You never know. These churros all taste different. Yeah. <laughs> Well, thank you for watching my vlog. Remember to subscribe and like. Can you see my thumb? Subscribe and like. Next time, peace. If you like what you see, like, subscribe, and comment below. And you'll see a lot more adventures in Disneyland with my lovely sister or whoever I decide to bring with me to Disneyland. Which hopefully will be me.